In this video, I am going to be talking about eBay drop shipping for beginners. Um, so yeah, Brad Schomkel here from Ditch the Grind. Uh, if this is your first time here, then welcome. If it's not, then welcome back. Um, it's been a while since I last put out a video. Uh, recently, I've been doing a bit of a segment on um, e-commerce uh, as my channel relates to um, alternative ways to earn an income. And um, I've sort of been going over uh, the e-commerce side of things recently as I've, um, it's, it's always been a big part of my interests. Um, so the last, one of the last videos that I made was about Amazon FBA. And, um, and that was about the comparison between fulfillment by Amazon and drop shipping. And what happened after making that video is, and I'll, and I'll leave a, a link to that in the description. What happened after that video was, um, I also have a, another business, which is a scaffolding business. And, um, I was using my, my drone and, uh, to like take some footage and some, and some photos of the work that we were doing. Um, long story short, I crashed it and I had to buy another part for it. So I went onto eBay and, uh, just to go and buy a replacement part. And, um, while I was in there, I started working around with it. It was the first time I'd used the account in a couple of years. So while I was in there, I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go and use this account, buy the part. And while I was in there, I thought, man, this is like, it's, it's so familiar. Um, and it's so user friendly that I thought, you know what, I'm just going to jump in and, um, just sort of see what happens. Um, so in the wake of that, after I ordered the part, I thought I'm, I'm, I'm going to give drop shipping a, another crack. Um, because I had my stores had two stores up and running back in 2019 and I have had a couple of things go wrong with it and I, I will share what happened with those in future videos so be sure to uh, keep an eye out on this so um, please like take a second to like and subscribe and um, as soon as that video is dropped you'll get notified on that and it, it'll be something to do with um, what kind of mistakes to avoid uh, when drop shipping on eBay so um, so yeah, with that, let's get cracking. Um, basically, drop shipping on eBay. There are a few people that talk about the whole practice. Like eBay itself says that they don't want you drop shipping. It's, it goes against their policies. Um, and I encourage anybody that's looking at doing any kind of selling on eBay to read the policies because it's it, it can help you avoid getting into trouble. Um, so long story short, eBay doesn't like you drop shipping. Um, Amazon doesn't like you drop shipping either. But um, it's kind of all about, you know, whether or not you get caught, I guess. It's probably not the, the way that I would like to phrase it. But, um, yeah, essentially that's what that is. So um, to, to explain eBay dropshipping in its most simplistic form, basically, uh, as, as you can see, you would just go over to eBay and any time you're looking for a product, so let's just say dog food, uh, maybe not dog food. Uh, so dog clothes, <laughs> clothes, and you go in there and you can go and bid. Uh, like the auction format is the most familiar um, form of shopping on eBay. Although they have their buy it now prices and um, yeah, that kind of thing. So essentially, you'd list your product. Drop shipping on eBay is essentially someone listing a product and then coming over to a service like AliExpress, which is here. And then, so if someone buys the product on your site or your eBay store, um, then you come over to eBay, uh, come over to AliExpress, um, and then you take the money that you've just earned from them from the sale, and then you buy the product at a lower cost. And the difference is your product. Like that's, that's, Drop shipping in a nutshell. Um, drop shipping itself is not a new term. It's not a new practice. It's been around for a while, but it's just been made a lot more um, accessible since the inception of the internet. And um, there, there are uh, like, and even within that, like e-commerce and drop shipping and internet platforms itself, even within that, there are a multi multiple number of ways that you can do it. Um, one of the more common ways to do it is with a Shopify store. Shopify is a massive brand, publicly traded company. And um, 
the way that they do it is you build yourself a store and then people come to your store, they buy the product and then same process. And, and like nine times out of 10, it's going to be somebody sourcing a product from AliExpress. Um, those figures might have changed, but like as far as I know, that was the majority of, that was where the majority of people will get their products from. A um, couple of problems with doing it with Shopify. Uh, it's It's hard to get... Uh, to generate traffic and get actually, like eyes actually on your store. Um, so one of the ways that people will do that is to run Facebook and Instagram ads and that kind of thing. The problem with that is it can be very, very expensive to run Facebook and Instagram ads. Um, it's something I have a bit of experience in. And I can, I can tell you right now, unless you are selling high, higher ticket items and you've got a good margin on like what you're selling, it's, it's not really going to be worth it. Um, so the only other option with that is if you're going to run social media traffic is you need to have a lot of time to put into building and creating content and building an audience and a following so that people can follow you. It's not to say that it can't be done. There are a lot of people that do do it like that. Now where eBay differs and is and gives you an advantage is eBay loves new sellers and they have a tendency to... Uh, to, to show products from people that are just getting started because they understand that the more people that eBay have selling on their platform, the more money that they're going to make through like through fees, etc. Um, so they, whether that's like, a, you know, what they call, they call them insertion fees basically. So for every product that you sell, you have to pay X amount to eBay for, it's, it's like, it's almost like rent to rent your space. Um, and they have a tendency to, to, show the products of those people that are just starting out. And then if you do that, and then you start to take the time to like to put effort into your listings, your images, or your products, all of that kind of thing, um, and they see that you're slowly building your account effectively, then they start to favor you more. And they will always keep putting your products within the top couple of lines. So if you see that over here on eBay, and you'll end up in the top sort of, you know, rankings for whatever product is that you're selling. And um, so that's a, a fantastic thing because I don't, I don't think Amazon does that. Bezos has so much money, he doesn't give a shit. As long as you're pumping products out on his thing, he loves you, you know? He doesn't care. Uh, unless you're doing something that he doesn't like, then of course, you know, you're gonna get flagged or whatever. So um, now the way that I do this, because if you're gonna go and you're gonna sell your products on eBay, and someone's going to come to your store each time that somebody buys something from your store, you have to be ready. You almost have to be working around the clock to find like as soon as that sales ready, because the sooner that you get a message out to the buyer and the product actually bought and shipped, um, the better standing your account's going to be in. So they come to your store, you go, yep, sweet. I got the money. I head over to AliExpress. I go and find the product there. So whatever that was, what are we going with dog clothes? Dog codes, dog clothes. And then you go through all of these and you gotta go and buy the exact same one. So you gotta go and find the exact same product, the exact same size, the exact same color, and then you've gotta go and interpret all of those details. And then you've gotta do this manually, you go and pay for it, and then you ship the product. And assuming of course it all goes off without a hitch, the product gets shipped to the person who bought it, and then they're all happy and everything's fine. The problem is though, like what happens if before this person's gone and made the sale on eBay, um, made the purchase on eBay, the product that you're selling on your eBay store or even your Shopify store, they've gone out of stock. So then you've now taken money for a product that you don't have and you're faced with a dilemma. You either have to try and manually find another supplier in which case you've got to hope that the product that they are selling now is the same as the one that they've paid money for. And um, is, that, is that even like an ethical business practice? And I, I think it's not, you know, so, and eBay doesn't either. So that's one of the reasons that they don't like newcomers or anybody for that matter, drop shipping on their platform because they, they're, they're all about um, people having a good buyer experience, especially because they are in, in, like in competition with Amazon. Amazon's a giant. eBay's 200 million 
buyers or something, plus like, like I, I guess, uh, like an unknown number of guest purchases as well. Um, so the way that I do it, basically the only, uh, like I've, I've used a couple of, of softwares in the past, but the only way that I do it now is with a product called AutoDS. And it makes the whole thing so, so easy. Um, you basically, all you gotta do is just link AutoDS with your eBay store and you can sort the product on AliExpress and then through AliExpress via AutoDS, you can list the product directly to your eBay store and it actually monitors your stock levels, the price changes, and it will, like, it has, it has a function within the platform where it actually takes the customer's details, automatically inserts them into the shipping, and it does it does the whole thing automatically. Now, why I like dropshipping itself, especially the whole online practice, the, way, the reason I like it so much is that one, you can get started really easily. It's very, very cheap to get started. You don't need a whole lot of outlay to do it. And that's why it is so attractive to, to so many people. Um, two, it is like, it, it is like just so friendly with new people when it comes to actually making a good and honest, genuine income online. Um, sure, it, it's, you might have come across uh, videos on the internet that, or on YouTube that try to tell you that it's super, super easy to make money uh, with drop shipping. People driving Lambos and all kinds of bullshit. It's, well, it is easy to generate revenue. It's not that easy to be profitable. And I can guarantee you that it's, if you start tomorrow, you're not going to be driving a Lamborghini by the end of the year. Like it's, it's just, it just doesn't work like that. Um, it is effective and you can make some good money on it, but it does take work. Um, and that's where AutoD, uh, AutoDS streamlines the whole process of the whole process. And um, it, it can make the whole operational side of your business so, so easy, so smooth, and it can work really well. Although in saying that, th there can still be some problems with it. Um, so when I was doing it a couple of years ago, I got a couple of accounts up and running. One of them was doing really, really well, and that was the newest out of the two. Um, this time around, I started, I think, two weeks ago, and I was listing about 10 products a day kind of thing. You have to keep, like, I'm going to make some more videos about these in the future just to, like, sort of go more in depth about what it is that I'm talking about now because there's a couple of strategies that you want to adopt. Um, so you get, uh, I was adding around about 10 products a day, um, for two weeks, I had to increase my selling limits um, and you have to physically, or not physically, but you have to contact eBay sometimes, you'll, in, like, you'll exceed your limits and you have to request for more, um, whether it's a dollar value or an actual number of products. Um, and then that happened, then I was in good standing, everything kept going. After a week, I made my first sale and it was two sales, so um, got to be like happy with that. Um, I ran into a couple of other problems after that because things have changed since I last done it. But again, I'll get into those later. Um, so another week's gone by. I haven't made any more sales yet, but I'm still listing more products each and every day. Um, and then I'm just going to keep doing that uh, for the time being. So um, yeah, basically, like if you want to get started with drop shipping, I do strongly suggest that you do it with eBay, and you, but you do it in a really smart way and you just do it so that you kind of fly under the radar, you keep eBay happy, you keep your customers happy, even more importantly, um, and that's just with good selling practices. Um, eBay is like upfront with everything, and if you're in touch with um, customer support, they are there to help you, and they do a fantastic job of it. Um, and so, yeah, like if you got some value out of the video, then please leave me a like, consider subscribing. I'm gonna go, like I'm going to go deep on some of these because uh, e-commerce is awesome in itself um, and it's broad niche uh, niche, niche. Um, and then within within the e-com underneath the e-commerce banner drop shipping um, fulfillment by Amazon they're both fantastic business models and um, I strongly suggest that if you like these are ways that I genuinely made like money online and um, if I can then you can too I did this while I was 
uh, and I still am operating a scaffold business. Um, and it's uh, we're in my I'm in my sixth year of operation. Um, so if I can do that and be a father of three kids and a husband, then anybody can do this. So um, I strongly suggest that if you do, then you go with AutoDS and uh, you look at the platform. I'm going to leave a an affiliate link in the description. You can sign up there and um, let's see what they can, see how they can help you. And in the meantime, I'm going to be making more training videos, and I hope that there's somewhere that I can help you to achieve your goals too. All right, Brad Schoenkel here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you.